In this video, one of the coolest and affordable ARGB fans on the market, the AeroCool Astro 12. Is fan ke features, looks and thermal performance ki baat karenge, lekin ARGB ki baat ek aur video mein hogi. I am still testing out various ARGB softwares so that you don't have to. So subscribe zarur karna so that you don't miss that video. If you're looking for a new fan to upgrade your PC lighting and cooling, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Hello you awesome people, welcome to Chipsets and Frames, I'll get straight to the point. I ordered Astro 12 Fan Prime ABGB se order kiya tha. and by the way, I also have a review video of Prime ABGB on the channel, just may I covered everything from ordering experience, to support, to unboxing the package, so that video bhi dekhna will be helpful while making your next PC part purchase online, but after you watch this video of course. <laughs> Chalo, back to the product. A little brief intro about the features. I got this fan for 640 rupees, which is okay, moderate value for money. There are other cheaper options also in the market. I'll discuss that in the video as well. So watch the full video. It's a 120mm fan with addressable RGB and comes with a proprietary 6-pin adapter. Wo kya hai? We'll see that as well. Gavrana nahi, main hoon na. Iske saath, this fan has something that AeroCool calls the Omni RGB LED lighting design. This means that in simple terms, the RGB LED lighting fan ke front, mein, sides mein, or back. Mein hai. Carbon fiber style finishing hai, that looks really cool. Curved fan blades hai for higher airflow. Anti-vibration pads hai, which are really soft, I'll have to say. This touch karne par, and after I mounted this fan on my PC case, koi bhi rattling ki awaz ya vibration ki awaz nahi aai even at full rpm touch karne se hi pata chalta hai ki these pads are very soft and will do their job iske sath 6 pin proprietary connector hai so to discuss this further fan ki jo power argb led hai jo fan se connected hai us pe 6 pin connector and fan ke sath there is an adapter which includes the 4 pin pwm fan power connector jo motherboard se connect hoga and it has two types of argb headers one which is an open standard and the other is specifically for Gigabyte's VDG ARGB connector. All of these go back into that 6-pin connector. Vese jo open standard connector hai, that is now mostly available on all motherboards, even on a Gigabyte motherboard because mere paas Gigabyte ka hi motherboard hai, so I tested on that. Specifications. Fan speed max is 1000 RPM, 1.68 mm H2O of fan pressure, 42.1 CFM airflow. Up fan pressure or CFM kya hai? If you wanna know, then I can make a dedicated video on this. Do let me know in the comments. Hydraulic bearing hai and it doesn't make any bearing noise at all. It does not. Bohat smooth operation hai. Ab baat karte hai performance ki. Thermals. Cooling performance is decent at full RPM. There is barely any noticeable noise. So that is great. Airflow is decent. It's okay. Let's take a look at the thermal figures. Also, the location of the fan is that it is mounted on the side panel and jo uska air flow, hai, jo air throw hai, that is directly at the GPU. So, jo mera GPU hai, that will benefit the most out of it. Here are the temperature readings with the fan out of circulation for the CPU stress test using Cinebench R23. So, the core's max and package temperature is around 70 degrees and with the fan, it is relatively the same. A teeny tiny bit higher actually by around 0.4 degrees but that is within the margin of error. So, CPU temperatures pe koi zyada farak nahi pada. And now, let's talk about the GPU temperatures. So, here are the temperature readings of the GPU again with the fan out of circulation. This should be interesting considering the placement of the fan. So, for the GPU stress test using OCCT, max temperature reading has 77.4 degrees, average is 70 degrees, whereas with the fan in circulation, the max temperature is 72.6 degrees and average is a tiny bit better at 68 degrees. Now, that with this fan, the max temperature was around 6.5% lower with a drop of 5 degrees. So, like I mentioned, so GPU ke bilkul upar hai fan, to mera GPU jo hai, that is making best of the airflow. So, no surprises there. Um, anyhow, now let's talk about the conclusion. Final verdict. Pehle baat karte hain thodi cons ki. Ek bada issue for me is that there is no RPM feedback. So, you don't get to know what the actual RPM of the fan is. I've used various monitoring softwares like HW Info, OCCT, as well as the proprietary software that came with my motherboard. So, kisi mein bhi mere ko is fan ki RPM nahi mili. 
अब बात करते हैं प्राइसिंग की सो ऑल दो इससे चीप ए आर जी बी ऑप्शन भी अवेलेबल हैं बट ए आर जी बी फैंस यूजली स्टार्ट फ्राम फाइव फिफ्टी आई एन आर और ये मेरे को मिला है सिक्स फोर्टी इंडियन रुपीज़ का सो दिस इज़ मॉडरेट वैल्यू फॉर मनी अकॉर्डिंग टू मी देर आर अदर चीपर ऑप्शन अवेलेबल लाइक द कूलर मास्टर सी एफ वन ट्वेंटी ए आर जी बी दैट इज़ चीपर एट फाइव सेवेंटी इंडियन रुपीज़ एंड हैज़ अ बिट मोर एयर फ्लो बट लेस फैन प्रेशर विच इज़ फाइन ओवरऑल आई वुड गिव इट थ्री आउट ऑफ फाइव सो इफ यू प्लानिंग टू गेट अ फैन विच हैज़ अ बिट ऑफ एन अस्थेटिक अपील क्योंकि इसमें कार्बन फाइबर ले आउट है एंड uh, जो आर जी बी है दैट इज़ अ बिट फैंसी I would say that you can go for it, sacrificing a bit of airflow, which kind of defeats the purpose. But if you are focused on the airflow, then uh, you know the Cooler Master CF120 ARGB has better airflow, has higher CFM value. So you can take that, and it is cheaper as well. So with this, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and you know what to do: like, share, subscribe. Like always, you guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.